It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Space City, Houston, Texas, and NRG Stadium. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. Boy, we have a lot of All about it, moving their team via the pass. Yeah, I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. The kicker Tyler Bass has us ready to start. And off we go from Houston. On the return, it's Damian Pierce. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, who was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. First down, they'll start with Nixon. And that looks like a pretty clear hold. The game was five, but let's check the call. They'll begin on the ground, and here's Nixon. And a short pickup there, only up to about the 10-yard line. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Back to throw. Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. Was brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Going to set up to throw. And he's going to be brought down behind the line. This defense fired up to start the game. It'll bring up fourth down. It's almost like the defense knew the back was getting the ball there because from the moment the ball was snapped, there was a defender all over him. He's able to bring him down for a loss. So fourth down, and it's the former chief, Tommy Townsend, to punt for Houston as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. So, out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen, year seven already with Buffalo. The last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. There's a handful of guys throughout the league, Mike, at the quarterback position that single-handedly are worth the price of admission, and he's certainly one of them. He can make every throw on the field look routine. And while that gets the majority of the attention, it's the athleticism. It's the toughness as a runner. Frankly, just not a lot of guys at the quarterback position possess it. Not to mention, at all times, he's one of the biggest guys on the field. If he's under center, chances are... You're going to be in the competition to compete for a championship every year. 
Once again, it's Cook. Cook for the first down, and much more. A strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. Next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big pick. In motion, Shakir. Now Allen on first down. And this one's going to be a loss of yardage. He's marked out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. of the defenders to jump. From the shotgun, it's Allen. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Dawson Knox. And it's going to bring up a third down. Out of the gun, here's Allen. That one, oh, it's Knox, the tight end. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Play action. It's Allen. He's going to tuck it and go. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. This is a part of the field where you have to account for the quarterback as a runner. Nothing's open downfield. Great job by your secondary. But then he makes a break for the goal line. And they're able to stop him just short. But not until after he sets his guys up first and goal. From the gun, it's Allen. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Doesn't get much better than that. Had he gotten there just a little bit earlier, he probably draws the flag a little late. And it's probably a touchdown. Another shot from the one on second and goal. From the gun, goes out. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Tyler Bass now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Bills will take a 7-0 lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here's Pierce for the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready now for their second drive. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five.
throwing from the pistol. Stroud. He's back to Schultz. He's got it again. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. field for running these slant routes than others and it's a nice result from the 39 here's a first and 10 on play action Stroud that'll be batted away incomplete Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. Contrary to what all of the fans at home think, I don't have rooting interest in any of these games. But as you know, when it comes to tight ends, there's no bigger fan than this guy right here. I want to see them be able to connect, especially on those big plays downfield. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They need to get to the 29 here, facing third down. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. He's got it at the seven. in complete control and rhythm. Not only is he able to deliver this ball on target downfield, but the accuracy is what allows his receiver to stay on his feet, pick up the remaining yards after the catch, and walks it in for a touchdown. Now Kaimi Fairbear on for the extra point. It's up and through. Texans will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening court. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. On the return, it's Ty Johnson. Finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Bills offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. He finds Collins on the ground. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. They'll come up here first and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. Allen going to give it to Cook. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. Second down. And three. Man 
in motion here is Hollins. Throwing is Allen. The second down throw is incomplete. Third down, three to go. Here's Allen to throw. That's over the middle and take it in. He's got it. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. It's a Samuel left side. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. And while Samuel might have a new home in Buffalo, Mike, he's still that same dynamic guy that I played with all those years back as a young player in Carolina. He is so dynamic with the ball in his hands that in this Buffalo offense, you can throw it to him, hand it to him. But either way, just get him the ball. We saw there, and they get a first set of downs. There's the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Keon Coleman, the intended receiver. And it'll lead to a second down. Allen going to throw again. They'll set up the screen to Cook. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one-on-one -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And... After plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. One more time going up top with Allen. That's hauled in at the two. Shakir, touchdown, Bills. Now Bass to tack on the extra point. The kick is good. And the Bills will move out to a 14-7 lead. Touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. We'll start at the four. And not much good on this return. Good cover. We're stopping his tracks. Back at the 15-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Crowd. That's complete to Diggs. An 
enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. On the bootleg, it's Stroud. The throw on the run is complete. And it'll be taken down after a game three, but that is good enough for a first down. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just that little extra second you allow your wide receiver to continue to work open by the ability to move the pocket. Buy time with your feet, but remain a passer. They'll go play action with Stroud. Trying the right side. Taken in by Collins. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one. 14-7 is our score. More from Houston coming up in a moment. Here's second and two. From the gun, here's Stroud. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's third and two. A tight end in motion now. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. And he is going to have a Texans first down. They'll have it by plenty. It was third and two. They picked up eight. to throw, it's Stroud. Back over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nico Collins was the intended receiver there, and it'll be second down. Here's Stroud. Throw left side, finds down. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. First and 10. that one complete to Collins. And he's going to be taken down. Ball sitting on the three. It is first down and goal. Stroud to throw. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. He'll try to run this one in. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third. And goal. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. yard that's all they need on this third and goal they'll try and run with Mixon and this time he will work his way into the end zone no Mixon touchdown Houston
Now Fairbairn for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Texans will tie things up. We are all even at 14. square 14 apiece the score as this one's away this will be returned from the six and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive so now here comes the buffalo offense heading back out onto the field this one everything we could have hoped for in this point all even at 14 we'll start this drive with first down will get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Slot man in motion right. Out of the gun, here's Allen. First down, up to the 40. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down so if you're going to have time to allow your big tight end to start on one side of the field and run a crossing route all the way to the other your big guys up front better hold up in protection that's exactly what they were able to do here gave the quarterback the confidence of staying with them the entire way through delivering that ball on the far side of the field and leads to a nice pickup throwing now Allen here on first down Taken in by Shakir. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. From the gun, it's Allen. That one complete to Holly. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. I think the defender thought he had himself a pick here, Mike. He saw that curl coming the entire way, but unfortunately for him, it was a curl and go. They took him deep. Leads to a huge pickup. Oh, run was quick. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Here's Allen. A short throw caught by Kincaid. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Try 
field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Passes kick is good. And the Bills move out in front. The new score, 17 to 14. So after the made field goal, passes back out there to kick it away. He fields it at the eight. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Digs on the reception. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They will work the middle with Mixon. Fighting out tacklers, pushing his way forward. Good gain of about four. Now a third and two. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And he is going to have a Texans first down. At least it appears that way. He got it maybe by the length of the football. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough, and they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. They're locked in on this drive. Second connection for that pass. This one gaining 22. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. And he'll work this down inside the 35. Christian Benford brings him down. Here's second and six. On the option, they give it to Mixon. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. Back to throw, Stroud. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Jaime Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This is going to be a 51-yard attempt. Fair Barron's kick is good. And the Texans have tied it at 17. So the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. Johnson now to return. A solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Bills offense ready to take over once again. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. From the gun, Gaussian. Quick throw out wide. It's caught.
Here's second and three to go. Man in motion here is Hollins. Quick throw here is complete. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. So, two minutes to play in a back and forth first half. Craig and I, back from Houston. In a moment, a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. That is caught. What a throw. Keon Coleman. Touchdown, Buffalo. This is when you're very fortunate as an offensive play caller, Mike, that you not only have the speed on the outside, but you got the big arm behind center because it doesn't get real fancy. If you can hold up in the protection, you're saying run as fast and as far as you can. I'm going to throw it as far as I can. And when you connect, it is a thing of beauty. And, and I believe the referee was buzzed by the replay officials indicating let's get a closer look at this they trigger this automatically in the last two minutes of the half so ruled a touchdown originally they didn't find any reason to overturn it and it stays on the board Here's Pierce for the return. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Texans' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete, but a flag down in the backfield. That's the area we usually see holding. That's on the former first-round pick, Titus Howard. Here's Stroud. That'll be taken in by Nixon. Here's a second and 12. Now, Stroud. Open man, downfield, it's Nico Collins. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Stroud going to set up the throw. They go right back to Collins. He's got it again. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here. Second and a yard. From the gun, here's Stroud. He's got down for that one. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. To 
to throw, it's Stroud. He'll get this over the middle to Diggs. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's Stroud. Off he goes. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here. And it'll come with 15 seconds to play in this first half. So, here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Now, Stroud. That's caught right side for tight end Schultz. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. So, we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills on top. As we'll send you over to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Johnson now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Set to go now on first and 10. Allen working from the pistol. Brought in by the tight end, Knox. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Out of the gun, here's Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Shakir on third down it's Josh Allen a pass caught right side by Coleman 11 yards on the connection there good for a Bills first down They send him right out of the slot. Again, it's Allen to the air. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. To throw again, it's Allen. Looking middle, he's got to complete to Coleman. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. Man 
in motion here is Hollins. That one caught. It's Knox, the tight end. His second grab on this drive, good for 11 yards, but most importantly, a first down. One more time going up top with Allen. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Try again, it's second and ten. Allen going to throw again. He finds Hollins on the ground. And he will get into the end zone. Mac Hollins. Touchdown, Bills. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. Pass now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Bills will extend this third quarter lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here's Pierce for the return. He's across the 20, taking down just shy of the 25. Texans offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up Second and five. Now Mixon. And he'll get this close to the first down. It's a pickup of four, but it still leaves third and short. It's Stroud. He's got his tight end. It's Schultz. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. to throw. Stroud. He'll check this down to the running back. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a game of just three. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. They face second down and seven. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's third down and a few inches. Stroud. 
And it looks like he's going to have the first down. The defense is right there, but a gain of two. Good enough for the first down. Throwing is Stroud. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Stroud. Off balance throw. It's complete. He'll get about six before he's taken down. They've converted two third downs already on this drive. And here's third and four. Stroud to throw. This is hot. He got the connection to Collins. They get 18 on the pitching catch. First down for Houston. Stroud on the quick slant. They find Dell. And the Texans are going to be set up. First and goal coming up. They'll mark them down at the six-yard line. Even though defensively you haven't been able to get off the field, this is where you got to dig your heels in. This is where you got to make a stand. Okay, so you've given up a long drive. Force a field goal. Field goals and takeaways. That's red zone defense. And if they can come away with three here, I think they'd feel... To the goal line and in. Dalton Schultz. Touchdown, Texans. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Fairbear to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Texans will cut the deficit to seven. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Johnson now to return. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Bills offense and Josh Allen head back onto the field. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific. All game long. Who outs another catch for his favorite target? Second down and three. They'll run straight ahead with Cook. He gets this up close to the 40. It is Aziz Al Shire with the stop. Here's third and two. We'll try and run here with Cook. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind 
the line. And fourth down is coming up. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. On fourth down, on is Sam Martin to punt. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. C.J. Stroud and the Houston offense set to get going again. So here's a first and ten now. They'll start from the 24. To throw, it's Stroud. There's Pat Mann again. Another catch. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And Mike, I think as they try to find themselves clawing back in this game, they're going to have to make a concentrated effort here in the second half to continue to get him involved. He's one of the best playmakers we have in the entire NFL. Give him opportunities in space with the ball in his hand, and chances are, when he has it, good things happen. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Dell motioning over. On the give, this is Mixon. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Now, Stroud. Throw on the run is complete. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. So often for a defense defending the passing game, the most difficult guy to account for is the running back out of the backfield. So a really nice job here bringing him down before he has a chance to pick up any yards after the catch. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. That is not the way downfield, incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. Jamie Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This will be from 56 yards away. He is two for two. The kick is good. And the Texans will cut the lead down to four. Fair Baron, after making the field goal, Heads back out to kick this one away. A return now from the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bills offense ready to see what they can do. The lead sits at four. So we'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And taken in by Shakir. Be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's first and ten. First and ten. It's Cook. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down.
they'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Playing close quickly. And here comes third down. here is Hollins. Allen on third down. That's taken in by Hollins. Pickup of 11 yards on that one. First down, Buffalo. And what a clutch throw here on third down to keep this drive alive. Now, in a perfect world, they'd love to go down there and get points, extend this lead. But at a bare minimum, milk the clock leave the least amount of time possible if you do have to give the ball back to your opponent and if you're this defense it feels like the time to get off the field is right now they'll come up first and 10 at the 40. A run out of the gun with Cook. and he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage but will not happen here he's going to lose a yard Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. From the gun, Josh Allen. Very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. This crowd into it now. As we get to third down. Man in motion here is Hollins. Quick throw taken in. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Receiver headed right. Now Allen on first down. Just in middle, and he's got to complete to Coleman. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Anybody who thought this coach was going to get conservative with this late lead is sadly mistaken, Mike. They're out here still throwing haymakers with this passing game. They're not content with just having the lead. They're looking to increase it. An opportunity for it to be a game ceiling touchdown right here. First down and goal. He's got it at the three. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Matt Collins. Touchdown Buffalo. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Here's Bass now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bills will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here's Pierce for the return. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The home team's offense and C.J. Stroud ready to get to work once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine.
Now, Stroud. That's into the hands of Dell on the right side. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. First and ten. They'll run here. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. To throw is Stroud. Trying the right side. Taken in by Collins. They get 16 on that connection. It's good for a Texans first down. They'll keep it on the ground. It lowers the shoulder. A gain of about three. On second down, Stroud. They try to work the screen with Nixon. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. Here's Stroud. one now very big touchdown gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off well mike at the very least they've given themselves a chance but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting Now a big spot here for the Texans as they'll try for two. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's going to be incomplete. That would have been a tough grab. The collision jarred it loose. The try for two is unsuccessful. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. now here's Allen initially Mike a really good job by the defense nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback he's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner a little slow reaction and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game 
They'll work now on second and four. A run up the middle with Cook. And he's going to get him a first down here across midfield and down to the 45. Once again, it's Cook. We get this down to the 44, but that's about it. So now they'll throw it with Allen. He's got that complete to Knox. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Allen, going to give it to Cook. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Now Davis. And he will work his way down inside the 30. A pickup of six. to the 22, but now face third down. Man in motion here is Hollins. Quick throw here is complete. It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Bills first down. Uh, there's not a lot to this route. Man coverage and you got a drag route. Give him a little something off the line and go. Win with speed, good accurate ball on the front shoulder pad, allows him to pick up the rest after the catch and leads to a big game. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. A carry for Cook. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a timeout, Houston. That's their second. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. On second down. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points.
The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Scourge the two yard line. It's third down and goal. Victory formation here as he's down to an eight. 